Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a weird video, but I'm just gonna try pushing through it. So, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Retrospective, and today I'm gonna be doing a speed drawing of the Cicada 3301 logo. As I've shown you this logo previously to my Cicada 3301 mystery video, and it's just that I wanted to show you not only my editing process, but also how I do art. And basically I wanted to show you how you can actually draw this logo. It's pretty simple. And I also wanted to do kind of like as a follow up uh, to the Cicada 3301 mystery video. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video and without further ado, here's the actual drawing. Okay, so for this drawing, I actually went pretty loose because I didn't want to have like a 100% same replica as the original symbol. Now, the original symbol is kind of like a stencil or like uh, it has like some relief, but actually getting that texture is quite difficult. However, it actually went pretty simple. I've just followed the patterns, but the actual drawing I did it with just a pencil to actually sketch it out and have an idea of where I wanted to actually place my lines. And then I just, you know, followed the patterns as I went along with a black marker and then two fine liners just to actually, you know, fill in all of the lines precisely. And what this drawing represents as well is basically to avoid perfection because I've been trying to actually be more loose with my art since, you know, quite a while. And the reason for it, it's because I don't really like having to spend so much time with one piece. Like I rather work with multiple pieces than just work with, with one in particular. And I've actually been keeping a journal in which I've been drawing, you know, this type of sketches, which are, you know, not that large. And I've been trying to avoid having it, you know, perfect. So that's what I wanted to draw with this drawing in particular. So obviously, if you compare the image to the actual finished drawing, you will see that there's a lot of like errors and it's not like as precise, but I actually liked it that way because again, I didn't want it to have the same exact replica, but adding in those patterns was a terrible, terrible, not decision, but it was like a terrible act because then I ended up really, you know, dizzy, like where am I sitting? Because nothing was actually correct because I did a lot of like proportion errors but besides that, I just pushed through and I actually ended up really liking how the cicada turned out. Some of the wings did end up, you know, very thickly, but I, I as well, I liked how they came out. Now, I don't really have that much to say because the footage kind of explains it all. But something that I will say is that it was very difficult also you know using like a very thin and small sketchbook because you may see the sketchbook and think that it's quite large but in fact it was very small and that was also another problem because basically the issue with it was that i had to be very precise and i didn't have enough space to actually do it so yeah now on this part, I actually did have to sketch the other wing because I was actually quite lost and I was gonna do a terrible job if I actually didn't sketch out the other wing. Uh, it actually ended up non-straight. So one wing ended up like, I guess bigger or more on top of the other wing, if that makes sense. And the other thing that happened that I forgot to mention, I also used a kneaded eraser, which is like an eraser, but at the same time, it's not an eraser. It kind of picks up the graphite as opposed to actually erase it fully. And it's like that little blob, that little gray blob that you see like on the actual video. So yeah, actually just filling in the wing, just doing all of the patterns again, which were a complete mess. And they were so stressful, but at the same time, they were really, you know, cool to draw because it's kind of like you're actually trying to make it from like, you know, having relief or being like a print to actually just, you know, making it into a drawing, which that is actually quite, you know, not so easy of a task. So on this last clip, I was almost done. I needed just to put like a few more patterns on the bottom wing, I guess you could say. And I was just touching up, but you can see my head going back and forth because I had to see again if the patterns were correct. And then I was just cleaning it up a little bit and I was ready to actually put like a paper on the previous sheets 
because basically the next step which I did was actually add in like a red line because since I had made the Perfectionist album cover which is an album by Natalie Kales and I really like the overall like album image I was really into this theme of doing like you know black and white or very contrast uh, drawings and then just you know going on top of it with like a red line. I think it looks really cool and sick and it's like a little bit different from the original logo. And then on this last clip, I was just adding the number 3301. It didn't end up perfect. It did end up like a little bit weird. But again, my fine liner wasn't working properly <laughs> or it wasn't working as I expected it to. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that. And we are done. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. This was kind of like a weird video for me, but I actually really wanted to do a speed drawing for a while because I really love drawing or I really like, you know, actually making, turning um, actual pictures and giving them my own personal style. And I didn't show that on YouTube. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.